Welcome back Rec Room players. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Get Leaderboard chip. You should use this chip if you want to save numbers or scores that players can look up and use later on during a different visit to your room, or during a visit to another subroom inside your room. The Get Leaderboard chip is part of the Leaderboard gadget system. Check the description for a link to another video that explains the Set Leaderboard chip and the Leaderboard projector. The Get Leaderboard chip lets you look up numbers and scores that have been saved to the Rec Room servers, but you have to use the Set Leaderboard chip to save that information first. The numbers you save can mean anything you want them to. They can be player stats, experience levels, money, inventory, or even save points in a story. To spawn a Get Leaderboard chip, go into your Maker Pen palette by looking at the top of your Maker Pen and pressing the Open Palette button. Then, under the Gadgets menu, go to Other Chips, and on the first page you'll see Get Leaderboard. Then use your Create tool to spawn one. To see how the Get Leaderboard chip works, let's do a simple exercise where I send a number to the servers, and then go through a subroom door to a different subroom and look up the number I saved. The first thing I need to get started with this exercise is a Set Leaderboard chip, which I found in the Gadgets menu under Other Chips. And the second thing I need is a button which I found in the Props menu under Dynamic Props. First, let's set up the Set Leaderboard chip. This is a bit of a review from our other tutorial video about leaderboards, which is linked in the description. Be sure to check that out. First, I'm going to set the stat channel to channel number 1. Both the Set Leaderboard and the Get Leaderboard chip can use channels 1, 2, or 3 here. These are just separate slots for storing information about players. Right now, I only need one. I'm going to use the Configure tool to set the default value on the green pin to number 1. Next, I'm going to choose a number to send to the server. This value goes on the blue value pin. This is the number we'll look up later in the next subroom. If we get the same number I put in here, we'll know it worked. It doesn't matter what the number is for right now, it just needs to be something we'll recognize. Looking at my watch, I can see it's 14 minutes past the hour. Let's put in the number 14. Finally, we activate the set leaderboard chip by sending my player ID number to the red input pin. The easiest way to send my player ID is to configure this button to use the send player as signal output option. Now I'll use the wire tool to wire the button's red pin to the red input pin of the set leaderboard chip. Now when I press the button, the number it sends will be my player ID. Okay, the number 14 is saved to the rec room servers. Let's go to the next subroom and set up the Get Leaderboard chip to look up all the information that we just saved. Okay, here's the Get Leaderboard chip we spawned in earlier. We need to tell the chip where to look up the same information we sent into the servers. It's kind of like an address. If we tell the chip my player ID and the correct stat channel, it'll find the number and output it for us. This looks a lot like what we did before. Remember, if you want to know what input pins or output pins on chips and gadgets do, you can use your wire tool and hover over the pin to get a helpful tip. First, I'm going to configure the stat channel to channel 1, so that the chip is looking in the same channel where we saved the number. Next, I'm going to use another button configured the same way as before, to send my player ID to the red player ID input pin of the Get Leaderboard chip. Now, whenever I press this button, the chip looks up the number from earlier. Right now this doesn't do much of anything because we haven't wired the output pins to any gadgets. Let's change that. What I've got here is a sign prop, which I found in the palette under Props, Dynamic Props. I've set it up with this circuit board so that it will display any number it receives. The blue pin on the Get Leaderboard chip is the value pin. Let's wire it up here so that we can see what it has for us. As you can see, the sign prop now displays the number 14, because the Get Leaderboard chip looked up that value for us. The Get Leaderboard chip has two other output pins. Whenever a value is output on the blue pin, the red output sends the same player ID that was input earlier to activate it. The green output sends the same stat channel that was paired with that player ID. These pins make it easier to be sure that the value being output is matched with the correct player data. Remember, this chip is looking up data over the internet, which means there's a little bit of a delay before you get the output. The red and green outputs just make sure that you have all the information you need at the time the data arrives. 
The really important thing about the Get Leaderboard chip is that you can use the number that you look up to control circuits and gadgets. This means that things players do in one subroom can change what happens in a different subroom. For example, I've set up this chip with a comparer, a simple lock-unlock switch, a clamp, and a sword. Now, players can only grab this sword if the Get Leaderboard chip looks up their level and finds that it's a high enough number. I can also use a Get Leaderboard chip with some circuits to lock and unlock story progress in story rooms. This time, the Get Leaderboard chip decides whether or not this subroom door is unlocked. Those are just some basic ideas. We're really excited to see what ideas you can come up with. That's everything you need to know to get started with the Get Leaderboard chip. In this video, we learned a little bit about subrooms, and also a little bit about state machines. Check out the description for links to other tutorial videos about that stuff. If this video is helpful, please give it a like, and subscribe to Rec Room for lots of other fun videos.